The world's population is growing at a rate of 200,000 a day. How to feed everyone is a major challenge. But one British team thinks creepy crawlies should be on the menu. These two met at the Royal College of Art and set up Ento. We were brainstorming all sorts of things like floating farms on the sea, algae, insects were one of them, and we were tentatively investigating each of these directions and we found insects the most rich area for a design intervention. They win on so many fronts, they're so energy efficient, they're so nutritious and there's such a huge abundance of them. I mean there's more insects than there are people in the world by mass. Locust, for example, about 72% of it is protein. A large part of its shell, for example, is made of chitin. There's some research at the moment which alludes to the idea of it actually being able to boost your immune system as well. Ento made a big splash, packaging bugs as cricket croquettes and grasshopper dumplings. But most of us see critters and beasties as a nuisance, not something for the dinner table. So they've gone back to the lab to work on the business model. Now we're getting our heads down and things have quietened down for a bit for us whilst we develop real food products for sale and navigating some of the complex legislation and um, food production issues. The trust and loyalty of customers is essential for UK supermarkets and in the past new technologies like GM have been met with hostility. So are we ready for insects? I think it's probably been brought more to attention by, you know, like celebrity get me out of here. You've seen people eating these insects, but for me, no. It tastes very fatty, but delicious, like, but they're not fatty at all. They're like, just full of protein. So, yes, I, they were very, very good. So what does someone who's made it big in business make of Ento's chances? Ento could really be onto something here. Uh, I think it's a, a great idea. The real challenge is in the execution. I don't think they should be offering insects that look, in, look like insects to consumers because they're just not ready for it. One important thing for us is making sure that we do this in a very honest way, whereby um, even when you disguise it, it's very clear what's in it. And for us, it's important that the dominant ingredient in the foods that we design are also insects. Ento hope their products will be available to buy from later this year. The question is... Are people ready to combine entomology with enjoyment?